Okay, this short video is an expose of the swatch object. So the swatch object is this colorful panel that you see right, well, right here on my screen. The swatch object allows you to select colors as a user interface. So you could do it as a programmer to make your life a little bit easier. You could also embed this into applications that you're building to let a user select a color for something that they're doing in your application. So this swatch object, when you click on it, right, with your mouse, you can get these different outputs of colors. So um, over here I have this pinkish color happening, right, and I'm kind of swirling around here. You can see the colors changing. Something funky is happening over here, you're probably noticing, and I want to talk about why that is. So RGB color, traditionally, if you think about RGB in 8-bit, right, you've got an a red, a green, and a blue value from 0 to 255. Now, this is what we are calling the old style in Max, old school, old style RGB, also known as compatibility mode. So actually, by default, the swatch object is outputting values in a normalized way. So I'm going to uncheck this. It's by default 0 to 1. So before, you see we have these values 0, 247, 16, this is 0 to 255, that's in compatibility mode. When I uncheck it, and then I start uh, asking for more colors, now I'm getting values in a range of 0 to 1. So this is the same, it's the same values, it's just that they've been divided by 255, so that instead of the range being from 0 to 255, the range is now 0 to 1, the minimum is 0, the maximum is 1. Why is this important? Well, because as you can see, I have two different things happening over here where I'm using these colors. And the first one, the panel here in the middle of the screen, wants values in not compatibility mode. In the new mode, normalized 0 to 1 range. So when I have it just in default mode, regular, this panel works great. But this thing over here is not working so great. This thing, this JIT.LCD screen, wants its colors in 0 to 255 range. So if I'm working with a JIT.LCD, I have to switch my swatch to compatibility mode or anything else that, like a JIT.LCD that would want 0 to 255 range in order to get my circle to draw correctly. So this is going to be up to you to find out what you're using and what the range is that your particular thing that you're making needs and make sure that you're selecting, if you're using the swatch object, that you are selecting the correct mode. You can do this with a, an attribute inspector of compatibility mode um, or you can bring up the inspector for the object and there is a checkbox under value for output old style 255. One more thing about this, if you prefer, you can also choose colors in HSL. So that's hue, saturation, lightness, some people say value, V, HSV, uh, instead of RGB values. So I have this message here, HSL. Um, I guess I didn't really show you this, but you know, you can also you can also change just the red value. So I could you know bring up my reds here. I got a very purple color now with a high blue. Uh, that's going straight into this red value here. I've also got blue, sorry, green here. I do that all the time. And then blue over here. If I want to, sp to speak, to think in saturation, lightness, and hue instead, I can use this HSL message and send that list into the swatch. And then I can send this value. Oh, it's not working. It's not working because I'm in compatibility mode. Let's take that off. And I'm now going to send this value from 0 to 1 in place of my hue, the H here, uh, hue, saturation, and uh, lightness, light. And now I can just scroll through just the hue of my swatch if I wanted to do that. Uh, if I wanted to do uh, the saturation or the value, I could do that as well. So let's, let's just switch that. We'll leave the hue. Um, at 9, and now instead we will switch this to changing the second 
element here, which is my saturation. So now I have control over this bright, how bright the pink color is that I'm using. Whoops. Okay, that's swatch. I hope this is helpful.